Let's implement authentication and middleware in Next.js using Next.out. What I have is a Next.js project, but I've added three pages, two inside this part and one inside this part. I want every page in the slash p part to be publicly accessible. That means no authentication required. But for the pages in the slash app part, I want them to be protected pages. That is, we need authentication. But right now, if I visit, for example, slash p, which is a public page, as expected, we can access it. But when I visit slash app, unfortunately, we can still access it because there's no authentication right now. And finally, if I go to slash app slash users, we can still access this page and get the users list, even though we are not authenticated. To implement the authentication, let me go ahead and install next out. So npm install next out. Now I can go ahead and configure the authentication. Next out has different providers you can choose to configure depending on how you want the users to log in to the application. For example, you can use Facebook, you can use Google, Kicklog, and so on and so forth. For this demonstration, I'm going to make use of uh, GitHub. So let me copy this part of the code. I will go over to my code. I want to create a file and add the configuration there. Let me also have a folder. And then this file, you can call it anything. Let me call it auth options .ts. So I just want to export the next auth configuration from this file. I'm going to say import, I'm going to import some stuff from next auth. And then export const out options. This is going to be of type next out options. So next out options. In the providers, I think that's what I copied. So in the providers array, we can configure all the providers that we want to configure. You can add Facebook, Google, and so on and so forth. But let me import this GitHub provider stuff. Import this from next out slash provider slash GitHub. And then the client ID and client secret. We are going to get that in a moment from GitHub. Uh, this should be a string, but because I am trying to get the value from environment variable, which can be a string or undefined, that's why I'm getting that warning there. The next thing I want to provide here is the secret, secret key that next out uses. It is just a key that you generate and put it in your environment variable. So I'm going to say process.env.next next out secret. Now we have three values we are going to put in our env for this configuration to work. The next out secret, a GitHub application ID and the GitHub application secret. So for the secret, I'm going to create a .env file, but this is this has to be .env.local because we want to store secrets, and you should not commit this in your your Git your version control. So I'm going to create that, and let me get these three values quickly over there. Uh, super secret. Make sure to use something that is really a secret worthy string there and then the github id i will get that and the secret now for the id and the secret 
I will go over to GitHub. I will log into GitHub and I'll go to GitHub dot uh, com slash setting slash apps. Over there, we can create a new application so we can get the client, the application ID and secret. I will click to create new application. I can call this whatever I want, but it just has to be unique name. So let me call this test next next uh, application to whatever. Then the home page URL of my application is localhost 3000 and the callback URL. Let me also put localhost 3000. I'm going to let me deselect webhook. I'm going to leave the rest the way they are. Uh, only this account or to allow other people to access this. Let me select any account and I'm going to create the application. Now that the application has been created, this right here is the application client ID. So I'm going to copy that over. For the secret, I recreated my app because my recording cut off at some point. So let me copy the client ID and update here. Then for the secret, I'm going to click this button here to generate a new client secret. I will copy that over to .env.local as well and save that. Now we've met the requirement for uh, GitHub configuration, but the application doesn't know about this auth config yet. For the application to make use of this, let's go to um, app and then API, just your API folder. By the way, I forgot to mention that I added one route handler. That is the, this is the guy that is returning the list of users we saw when we visited slash app slash users. We are going to come back to this for something else. I will go to API folder and add a route, a required one named as follows. So it's going to be out and then inside the out folder, I'm going to have dot 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 next out. And finally inside that, I'm going to have my route dot ts file. This file is going to export some named handler functions. What I'm, let me just import next odd from next odd and then we say const handler to be equal to next odd we pass the odd options that we just configured. Finally we export the handler like this. So we say export uh, handler as get handler as post. This is basically what we need to get the next auth working. We are going to see uh, the the middleware implementation and why it is useful. But for now, let me go ahead and test our authentication. If I go to slash app, you can see that we can still access the slash app uh, part. But now we can log in. So let's go to API slash out slash signing sign in and wait. You can see that next out uh, the GitHub we configured is already here. If we have Google and other ones, they will be listed here as well. So I'll click to sign into the application. This will redirect me to GitHub asking if I want to authorize this application, blah, blah. I'm going to go ahead and authorize. And then it will redirect me back to, to the application. But at this point, I am authenticated. You can actually change in GitHub settings to redirect to slash app after authenticated. How can I tell that I am authenticated? To do something meaningful with this authentication, 
let me go to that page the slash app page later we are going to see how to protect pages with middleware but now i want to protect content so uh, we can access this authentication information both on the client component and on the server component this example is on the client component making use of hook so the hook is use session which is from next out and then that session information is what we have as data so i'm going to give it alias called session and then we have another property called status with this status we can check if the user is authenticated by saying if status is equal to authenticated uh, come on then i want to return this if the user is not authenticated i want to just return uh, maybe login page so so i will it's not redirect just a link here saying please login in addition to this we can get the authenticated user information from this object right here so let me come here and display the name of the user i'll put h3 here name or username session dot user dot name all right this error occurred because we need to wrap the component with the session provider from next out let me quickly add that all right i had to pause a little to make this a bit faster what is happening here is just to import the session provider from next out and then react node uh this is just for something for the children this is going to export is going to return the session provider but we are going to pass the session which we are going to see when we go to layout to apply this to the to the provider then i'll head over to layout where we're going to apply this provider and then the session we are going to pass to the to the next up provider let's call this session to be equal to get we can't make use of the use session here because this is not a client component so we are going to say get server get server session this is how we access that same authentication information on the server side if the user is not authenticated this guy is not going to be defined i think undefined or no but it's not going to be available now i will wrap these children with next art provider that we just created not there this is expecting the session so we pass the session object but what i want to do about this session is uh okay this is going to take out options but instead of having this and importing and passing around auth options all the time i'm going to configure just something that returns the session object for the server side usage let me go to this auth options file and export the session object this this is what you also find in the next auth documentation it just doing something similar to what we have when we said get server session i'm going to import the missing stuff so anywhere on the server side i can just let me show you an example here instead of all this get server session and importing the auth option I'm just going to import that guy import auth and it is that straightforward i can remove unused imports here now let's go back to the page and so we we have a different issue because this provider this is supposed to be on the client side that is even another reason i didn't want to just apply this straight on the layout 
so we are going to say use client and hopefully that should solve the problem okay now you can see that we have the name of the authenticated user right here right if the user is not authenticated let me go ahead and visit the sign out and um, url so api slash out slash sign out it is going to ask us to confirm i'm logged out now now if i go back to slash app you will see that we just get the message that says please log in because that's what we have here if i go to app if the user is authenticated show the username otherwise say tell the user to log in but what happens when we go to the slash app slash users page remember we don't want to see the list of the users unless the person is authenticated but if i go now you can see that we have the list of users i will use the server side to to apply that check before we go to middleware so i'll go to api and then this is users instead of just returning the users let me go ahead and bring in that session const session to be equal to out remember we configure this object so it is just easier to import and use and what i want to do is to check if not session i'm just going to return i was going to return uh no data no but with a status code of let's say yeah 401 and let me go back to the page and refresh this i still get the users maybe this is some cache so let me add reload okay something is wrong somewhere let me just sign out and sign in again api slash out slash sign out and then i'll go to slash app slash users again oh my okay this is ridiculous so this um out this guy here returns a promise let me even check what i have here i can what i need to do is to await the out and then i will go over to where is it api so i just need to await this guy otherwise i'm going to this is going to be true which even made more sense to so maybe check if the user or something like that in case you forget something like this all right i'll go back to the page now close all this and reload the page so you can see we get an error saying that uh, this fails with 401 status code but if we are logged in let me log in again slash sign in i will click to sign in again and i'll go back to slash app slash users you can see that we get the list of users but you would have noticed that uh, for every page that we want to protect from unauthenticated user it is not so convenient having to do all this um, if and else this is where the middleware comes in to create a middleware for this use case with next out is really simple what you need to do uh, this is about next now next chairs the middleware file should be at the same hierarchy the same level as the app folder so we go to src folder and create a file named middleware middleware.ts this is going to export next at middleware so we say export from next out slash middleware we export default default i will save this 
and I go back to the page but first let me log out again so the moment I logged out you can see that I am prompted to log in just by adding this simple uh, line of code here let me go to localhost 3000 by default the way it is now you can see that all the pages are protected even localhost 3000 redirects me to login but what we want to do is to protect some selected pages back in this middleware file let's export a configuration uh, export const config to be equal to in this config we have a key masha this is where we specify the path the page url path we want the next auth to protect remember that we want only the things in slash app path to be protected other ones like slash p and the home page they can be public so here i'm going to say app then i'll go back to uh let me try to visit localhost 3000 again you can see that that is accessible let me go to slash p so that is also accessible but let me go to slash app you can see that redirects me to login but uh, okay let me also go to slash app slash users um okay i have a problem with this masher let me add anything slash app slash whatever slash app slash colon path whatever path after app such as slash app slash users all right let's try the users again you can see that now everything under slash app path is protected finally i want to go ahead and log in to be sure that uh, login still works as expected so upon login i am able to access the protected pages again let me check slash app and that is also accessible okay guys this brings us to the end of this lesson go ahead to configure more auth providers and enjoy coding